So just another quick video based on a question I got with uh, what I currently use myself when video live streaming. And uh, I use something like this. Of course, it differs, but something like this. So what is this? Well, it's basically uh, a combination of two skins, uh, video skins. This is from the Waveform Ribbon skin. So I've taken that top one and put it up here so that takes care of all this. And then if I start a track, like this uh, and I do something to the track like use the filter or the EQ or the effects or maybe some loops you can see that all that actually uh, comes from the live skin so I've made a combination of those two skins to do this and then um, of course, that's uh, on top of uh, something down here that's based on shaders. And all these shaders down here uh, are from uh, the shader pack that uh, I made a video about a few uh, days ago. And specifically, uh, these are for, from the folder called sound wave folder. So I use all the ones that actually interact to the music and kind of looks a little bit like, uh, like um, visualizations of the EQ and stuff like that. So, uh, if I play the track again, you can see they actually change. So, uh, I've used the, the settings or the, the script from the other video where it actually changes them, but depending on, on beats. So, right now it's, it's changing the shader within the group uh, with every 16 beats. I can set that down to, for instance, 4, and it happens a little bit more often like that. So that's another video about that. I'll, of course, link all these videos in the video description. And then at the bottom, I'm using uh, the chroma key, chroma cam feature. I made a video about a few days ago. So you can see that I'm actually being cut out uh, down at, at the bottom. And I'm by using the, um, the size and position of the, the cam, I have placed myself self a little cut out of me at the very bottom. So this is just my, my laptop cam recording me and then the uh, chroma cam feature uh, separate software that cuts me out of the background and then the chroma key feature that uh, puts in the shaders instead so that's basically what i currently use of course that changes almost on a daily basis yesterday i used some cartoons in the back but just to give an, an impression of, of what i use when i live stream at the moment